In this segment, we're going to continue looking at embroidery lettering. And what I'd like to look at specifically is the insert border tool and the lettering art tool. So I think I'll just start a new design to give us a clean workspace to work with. And I guess I'll start by just adding my name to the design. So I type in some letters. Um, I'll just go with all the standard default fonts and whatnot to begin with. And so there we have my name on screen. Now I think I'll go ahead and make it bigger. And then one thing I'm going to do is these two buttons here are what we're going to look at. So we've got insert border and then we've got lettering art. So why don't we take a look at insert border. So when you choose insert border, it basically gives you the option to choose the border to go around the lettering. And so um, I can scroll through the list to choose a border that I like. And then once you choose your border, so maybe I'll choose something like this one and say OK. And so you can see my border has ended up coming in and is on well, I, a bit of a... Um, whoops, undo that. So the border came in and it's like a curved border, but my lettering doesn't match it. So maybe what I'll do is just Control A to select everything and move it over. So it fits in my hoop and we can see it clearly. Now, when I chose insert border, it puts the border around my word, my name, but they're not tied together. See, they're two individual objects. So now what I would want to do is select my name. And it was originally an, a fixed or a, a free baseline. And I'm just going to change that to be an any shape baseline. And I'm going to choose reshape. And I'm going to add a point to the baseline. So I'll right click on the baseline. And I can just pull it down a little bit. That gives me the ability to kind of adjust the baseline. And in fact, what I could do is I could move the entire baseline down. Just move that over. To be a little closer to. There. And so once I've got that baseline down, I can also use this to stretch the lettering to kind of get an equal distance from the bottom of the letters and the top of the letter T to fit in that, you know, whoops, <laughs> baseline, touchy mouse. So that's adding a border and it's pretty straightforward. Why don't we look at adding lettering art? And so I think what I'll do for that is I'll start a new lettering object and I'm just going to put in an A, B, C, D uh, for this. And I put them in an all capitals so that they're a nice sort of evenly height, all of the height of the letters will be even and it looks good for this lettering art. So I'm going to say OK and place that down on my screen and then let's make this a little bit larger. So the option is called lettering art and it's right here and you have the ability to choose straight, curved or diamond. So if I choose straight you'll see that I get handles, little four little corners around my lettering object and if I wanted to I could for example make them longer. So it gives that, I guess, appearance like a pennant or a perspective, something that's going from smaller to bigger. So that's adding a bit of a perspective to the lettering art. Now, another, if I choose, so I'll remove that. And now I'll choose to do lettering art, but instead of straight, I'll do curved. And with curved lettering art, you get to choose the handle in the center. And I, so this gives a bit of a bridge appearance to it. Or if I pull it down, it gives the curved bottom with a flat top. Or if I pull the top up, it'll give a curved top and a curved bottom. Or if I pull the bottom up to match the top, it'll give the lettering that sort of a curved, um, oh, I don't know, banner a look to it, I guess. And at one more choice, remove, select the lettering and go with diamond and in this case you could create a very similar to the shapes that you were able to create in um, the monogram option so we can reshape our lettering objects with the lettering art tool to get any shape that we want so yeah let's I'm just trying to find a place on my screen where this fit there it fits down here nicely so that's lettering art and again um, you can combine the lettering art. So even though I have it now in the diamond, if I wanted to now add curved, I could do that. It maybe doesn't seem quite as appropriate. Um, 
maybe let's see if I can find a reason remove all select this and let's choose to go curved first of all and curve the bottom and then choose to add diamond and make the top pointy something like that so you can see that you can try to combine the curved and the diamond you can combine the lettering art so two two different lettering arts combined to create a new and even in more interesting look to your lettering. So yeah, you can see that there's really a world of um, possibility with lettering. And so what I'm going to do, um, I've shown most of the functionality within lettering, uh, but I'm going to come back with one more segment with a few sort of specialized editing techniques that you can do with your lettering.